Hello everybody and welcome back to another Ghost Bear Gaming video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this content and uh, leave a comment uh, down below if you want to make mention, think you have any suggestions of what I can do better, how you'd like, what other things you'd like to see me do. Um, today we're continuing our Gunfire Reborn series where I'm going through all the heroes and I'm finally through the base heroes and into the new DLC heroes. So we're going to start off with the monkey. Um, the monkey is uh, very interesting. He's a pretty fun hero. Um, he has two his two abilities, um, Soul Strike and Essence Chain. Uh, Essence Chain is basically just a whip that he throws out that hits uh, up to four enemies and reduces their movement speed and deals a certain amount of damage but it also extracts their souls from them and gives you plus two temporary weapon levels for six seconds when you hit them with it so it helps enhance your weapon ability that you have and then he has soul strike where he throws a hair out and blows it out at an enemy and the first enemy that it hits um it summons a clone of him that hits them with a cudgel and hits up to four times uh, to enemies within 10 meters, but it only initially it only hits the first enemy once and if there's multiple enemies around It'll hit up to four people, but it only hits each person once initially you have some ascensions that will allow it to upgrade more than that, but and it does your uh, base weapon damage so um, Instead of skill damage, so having a higher damage weapon is usually better for him because you want these cudgels to hit hard with a high weapon damage so like a launcher or a sniper rifle um, or a sword is the other one that's really good and then each type of weapon you have does different things so if you see here um, for can I get this to stay right now um, so I think the first one is sh uh, for shotguns you get plus three projectiles for cudgels, so you'll get um, four of your weapon damages, because that's the one thing about shotguns is they usually have less damage, but they have more projectiles, so that's how they balance that out. So you can still use a shotgun with them. Um, for sniper rifles, there's a 40% chance that your cudgel will cause a crit hit and does plus 60 total crit damage. Um, for launchers, there's a 100% chance that the cudgel will deal explosion damage within a six meter AO, uh, six meter AOE and 30% total explosion damage. Um, for swords, you get 80% lucky shot chance for the first cudgel hit. And then for pistols, every cudgel hit triggers an essence chain that only deals damage, um, that only deals damage and 100% damage for the triggered essence chain. And others get five plus 500 base damage. So for SMGs um, and the the uh, what are they called? The injectors, the gloves, and the the fire dragon. You get plus 500 base damage. So that way you can use them, and they still do somewhat of a damage. But you get the other base bonus effects for using the other weapons. So. So far I've used him once with a sword and it worked out really well. I quite enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, he's got his uh, talents that you can unlock are uh, Heaven Armory. For every 50 enemies killed, a special ammo will drop. Um, indestructible spell, uh, plus 15 max HP and max shield. And for every 10% shield lost, you get 10% shield recovery speed. Um, enhanced artifact you get plus 200 essence chain base damage um, proficient trick you get plus 50 soul strike damage or plus 50 percent soul strike damage um, so that increases your weapon damage as well for that but not actually when you shoot your weapon but just with your soul strike and then steady stance upon taking lethal damage from an enemy hp is fixed at one becoming immune to damage for one second and perform a cudgel hit dealing 200% damage to that enemy. If the enemy is killed by cudgel, you recover 100% of your shield. So he's got his own inbuilt um, like life-saving ability too. So he's actually quite good. I uh, had a lot of fun with him the one time that I played him and we're gonna give him a shot. 
So, um, I don't want to go through his ascensions. I'll go through them as the game goes on so you can see what he gets. And we'll give him a shot on Reincarnation 1. And I'm going to turn on the Bizarre Dream, which are the spiritual links, uh, which you saw in the last one. You can uh, get, if you get three things, either ascensions, auras, scrolls, weapons, they'll get bonuses. And then this mysterious Yoko makes the uh, enemies in the end level a little harder because usually um, they get, once you get to that point, um, your build is usually pretty good and you most often just blow through there all the time. Okay, one extra temporary weapon level for every enemy affected by it, for every weapon level, for every weapon level of the current weapon plus 40% uh, percent essence chain damage. Alright, well, I'll start with that one. The essence chain is kind of really good, so we'll go from there. Injector, flowing light. Minus 40% reload time. That's actually not bad. I'll take the dragon. The The sword isn't too bad, but the, the etch on it is kind of terrible. Refill one ammo to the magazine after triggering elemental effect. You're rarely using ammo with a sword anyway, so it, that's not as worth it. The rate of fire on the dragon chaser is good. But the reload time, that's one of the big downsides to the fire dragon, is it takes forever to reload. Um, but having a faster reload time on it is pretty good, so... I don't mind the... So, I'll show you his whip right off the bat when I see an enemy. That's, so that's his thing. That's his Q. So it will normally do... Um, Uh, it'll hit multiple people if there are multiple people in the area. All right, fine, thank you. Yeah. It'll hit up to four people, and as you buff it, it will hit even more. So, and the other thing about it that's nice is it also slows people. I'll show you his, his E in a second, too. Okay. So you saw that little clone of me. Go out and whack the guy. That's your... And that clone will jump to multiple people if there's more people in the area. So let's see if I can find a few more people. To have it jump. Up. Get some of these guys grouped together, and then the crazy thing about the tether is that it also has a really, really large range. Like you can hit people from quite a distance with it. gets enhanced firearms, he gets enhanced essence chains, and then he also gets his enhanced uh, E. Um, so, I think I'll go with the Shattered Soul, because I want to use my essence chain a lot, so we'll get the base base essence chain damage. Oh, the sniper's not too bad for using my uh, cudgel. So it hit it did a pretty big crit hit. So you not hit multiple people there with the essence chain, so. That was pretty quick. Fire enthusiast. Fair enough. Alright. I'm gonna 
try and go faster. My last video was a little long because I spent a bit of time explaining everything. So I'll try and see if I can move a bit quicker through these for you guys. Did I miss something back there? see him back there. Lucky shot chance critics. Uh, sure I'll swap my fire dragon for it. I don't know if I've shown you guys the concealed ammo but it's kind of an interesting gun. Untold effect. When casting a secondary skill there's a 50% chance to not consume any use and another 50% chance to deal 100% total damage. Oh, so the enhanced one's better. The other one used to uh, give you a 50% chance of using double uses or doing double damage. This just, that, wow, that's a no-brainer. So I'm either going to not use a skill or deal double damage with it. Done. And what's this guy got for me? I'll lose 75% health for it. So the concealed ammo is interesting. As you get down lower in level, you can secondary throw it and it consumes the rest of your ammo in your magazine and it um, basically becomes a, uh, a grenade that you can toss. But you gotta be careful with that arms do that, okay? Fast firing weapon then. Long Ranger. Um, yeah, if you use the the bomb portion of it too much, um, you can uh, run out of ammo really quickly. <laughs> because it consumes all the ammo in your mag. Essence Chain, Shattered Soul number two, yeah, okay. Plus three temporary weapon levels and plus two second Essence Chain duration. Now I'll get, I'll go for the Essence Chain. Essence Chain base damage. So I need Spirit Bible, Rich's Privileges, and Jaren Caster or Surprise Bonus for to get the Demon Executioner. Cool. All right. Mr. Peddler, what have you got for me? Um, sure, I'll take ammo belt. First shot after each 10 seconds, it will deal crit damage. Yeah, why not? That's uh, not bad. Illusion. Is that rate of fire chance? No. No, it's alright. <clears throat> okay. Doo -doo. Immortal. See, when these guys are immortal, it's better to just... Oh, wow. I almost died there. Because <laughs> I have low health. I got backed up through the trap. When they're immortal, as I was saying, it's better to get them to just explode. Um, you know what? I'm gonna feel safer if I just really quickly run back here. 
and buy a bun. Give me some health. <laughs> Shield, shield, shield. shield so I can shoot you in the face. Whoa! Okay, don't take those in the face though, Matt. When he does it, you want to sidestep or just take it in the face again. That was my my special ability saving my life there. Okay. Wowzers. That was fun. <laughs> Not. Thunderstep. Okay, that's good. Cavalry. No, I don't feel like cavalry. Lucky shot chance. Ability base damage now. Nah. Well, it probably was better than the one that I had. But. Hmm, let's give airbag a try. <clears throat> airbag is an interesting one where it um, it reduces your uh, HP per second when your shield or armor is full, but then recovers 100% of your HP and negates excess damage when your shield breaks and gets fully broken. So, like you'll see my my health start to drop right now. Um, oh, I'm going the wrong way. And it'll eventually get to one health. But, if I ever get to... Uh, my shield breaking. Then it will instantly heal me. So it works really well with, there's a couple of scrolls that you can get. Uh, double caliber, nope. Don't want a sniper rifle. Um, there are a couple of scrolls that you can get that do, for every five hits of Essence Chain, uh, trigger a Soul Strike with one cudgel hit. Oh, that's interesting. Lower the target's total HP, the higher damage you deal, up to 80%. Mm. Let's do the Wombo Combo. These guys linger before dying now. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, an angelic aura. That's actually not, or not an angelic aura. Huh? Aura of corruption. Aura of venom. Good lord. Projectiles and consumption. <clears throat> so that means it does, so it fires two bullets every time it shoots now. So it'll do actually 300 damage. Uh, but it consumes twice as much ammo when it fires. You have an 80% chance to create a corrosion ball on a crit hit, and you get 
plus 20% lucky shot chance. So that's actually a pretty good weapon. Dual edge. Ah, uh, this one's... <laughs> I'm going to try and have to hang back and not take any damage then if I'm going to do this. Because it can be very dangerous this early to get dual edge because you end up um, stacking up a lot of the, the abilities and can start taking lots more damage. You do a lot of damage, but you start taking a lot more too. Shield is low, shield is low. Kill him, good, okay. Running through traps. Again, I've said this in previous videos. Don't stand in the fire, genius. Magazine capacity, you know what? I'll swap for the launcher. This isn't the greatest wild hunt, so. I'll try a launcher out with the monkey here. <clears throat> An extra shackle. One max extra chain targets if the number of enemies hit by essence chain is lower than maximum, plus 30% damage for every target below the maximum. Okay, that's a great one. Lovely. Hmm. I'll take their time and lucky for now. Um, no, I don't want that. No, I don't want that. The only problem with launchers is you're so slow. Corrosion shard. I'll take. Cor yeah, corrosion shard. Not being affected by slow is always a very good thing to have. Oh, vindictive nature is always nice. Uh, bone dragon. Let's see, a poison ghost. Hmm. That, even though this is really good for the projectiles and whatnot, I think having the higher base damage on the poison ghost with that ability that I have now that hits with a cudgel every time I whip something, having a higher base damage weapon, and this will let me move faster. I still have the Tiger Cannon for further range stuff, so yeah, I think I'll take that. Okay, and I'll take Bullet Bank too, so that I don't ever run out of ammo. 
And now let's just bump both of these one. I'm not sold that I'm going to be keeping them for... doing ridiculous amounts of damage. I just need the ability that lets me recharge them. Extra shackle, that's a good one too. So I'll take that again. Stone skin's great. I don't want that. Corrosion damage on a big hippo. No, that's okay. Corrosion damage on an Argus. No. Okay. What do we got? Fake death, craftsman's inheritor. You can refresh your ascensions once per golden goblet. Or the craftsman's inheritor. This one's not bad because then you can... I'll take craftsman's inheritor because then I can upgrade my weapons as much as I want without having to worry about um, cost. Oh, hell. Elemental damage. That's a decent hell. No, I don't want the rainbow arc. What was the other one? Oh, I'll just check what this red chest is giving me. Give one a call scroll to get 235 gold. Um... dealer let's go a third time unlucky I don't really need the extra weapon damage for a small bag of copper that hell's intriguing but no I don't think I want it Strike. Damage if your magazine is full, which is really good with a sword. Because my magazine is pretty much always full. Anything else over here? Nope. No, I don't think I need that. 
Enhance Gourmet. Buns now recover full HP and plus 50 max armor and shield for 20 seconds. Oh, that's not bad. I'll take that. Okay. Poison Ghost plus... Oh, plus six from thy weapon from my weapon chain. Okay, so let's do... Hang on, hold on, I gotta wait for my weapon chain to drop so I know what they are actually, plus four. Okay, so if I enhance this, then etch it. What do I even wanna share with these? Maybe I'll get elemental effect. But this one, so then I'll look for a, like a fire damage. What do I have? Did I grab a coil? No, but I have lightning step. Hmm, I don't know, I'll think about that. What's this? A lightning gun. Perfect, okay. So let's take that instead of this. Now my sword has, so if I etch this, and then share their elemental damages. Now I can up my sword and it will do both lightning and poison. He's immortal now. Whoa. Wowzers, okay, keep moving, keep moving. Oh, I'm out of whips. That's right. That's not good. Yay! <laughs> Need some whips. <laughs> Flowing light, shock damage. Ah, perfect. Double acceleration gives me increased secondary skill capacity. That's fantastic. Now I'll have more whips. I'll refill my bracelets. Lightning enthusiast, sure. Now I'll do even more. Lightning damage. Wonderful. Okay, what's this? Shock weapon. No, that's okay. I'm hopefully not going to be using it much. <laughs> when Essence Chain deals damage to the same enemy, plus 30% damage for each repeat. Okay, sure. I'm going full essence chain here. Whoa! See those guys? They hurt a lot if you get too close to them, so try not to get too close to those guys. They do a lot of damage. point of this build was I was supposed to stay away from people and just use this weapon as a big hitter. So, stay back, use your whip, don't get in too close. Is there something beside me? There is something beside me.
red chest. Search for skull, extravagant consumption. Oh, that would be really good, but I can't really use it because I can't spend money now because of my blessing. Um, so no. Resolute, when your shield or armor breaks, but doubles the reload time, no. recharge time. No, I don't want that. Energy sandals. Those are actually pretty good because they increase my skill damage every time I dash. Yeah. Do I have any? Yeah, there was a weapon I missed back here. All split arrows go off to the same target. Split arrow leaves a mark on enemy. Lucky shot chance. Oh, wow. That's actually a decent bow. I gotta pick up the energy sandals before I can actually use it though. <laughs> Go figure. Wizards. And a big guy. Cool. Alright. What's this mortar? Mm. No, I won't take the mortar. I'll go get my go get my chest before I fight that boss. Okay. 25% chance, lucky shot chance for the next shot. Refresh upon cooldown upon defeating an enemy. Smash into dust. When perform soul strike, the first cudgel will deal 200% damage. If the enemy is defeated by this cudgel hit, the next cudgel hit will also deal 200 damage. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll do that one. I gotta get, if I remember correctly, he's got something in here. Everybody has this one. I need the rotation technique where I get more capacity and I recover uses of my soul chain. Like, I gotta get that because I'm gonna be maxed out on these right away to do lots of damage. But I need this to get more capacity and uh, recover uses of it. gets that easy sometimes when you've got these abilities or with these bonuses that I've got with this whip thing. Uh, nope. And nope. <laughs> Elemental Torment, Blazing Hoop. Oh, that one's good. Uh, weapon, yeah, 3% weapon damage. Or blazing hoop for fire effect. Um, I get the extra damage because I'm gonna have lots of money because of the um, because of not spending money on uh, upgrading my weapons. I'm gonna have lots and lots of spare money, so.
go. Another tiger cannon. The vault. Don't want the laser glove. Is there anybody up here? Nope. Oh, the craftsman's just on the other side. I'll go through the vault first. It's a treasure vault. So now I am immune to the negative effects of decay and lightning. So I don't have to worry about getting slowed down by these balls. They still will deal damage to me. But usually you don't want to get hit by the balls because they slow you and then you can't jump as far. But... If I don't worry about getting slowed, again, that, <laughs> I say this every time, you can go that way just to get the chest quickly, or you can come this way to get the second chest. All of these parkour areas that they have in the game have a way to get a second extra chest. That one's over there. So you have to jump around this wall, then you have to jump dash to this spot. And then you have to jump dash around this wall. So you have to jump, and once you clear the wall, then you dash to this thing. Snow boots, propulsion device. No, I don't want that at all, because I'll, I'll take propulsion device. Extra dashes is always nice. And resilient life. After taking damage, restore 3% HP per second for 5 seconds. That's not bad. It'll help keep me alive. Oh, I missed this scroll. What's it? Oh, lightning shard. So now I have all the shards. Oh, but I'm at 20. Okay, so what do I not need at all? Um, I don't really need arms dealer at all because I'm not firing... I'll get rid of Arms Dealer, and I'll take Lone Ranger, because I'm at my 20, 20 scroll capacity for that uh... Whoa, okay, be careful. Bracelets. Hopefully that killed him. Nope. Is he above me? Yes, he is above me. Cool. All right. <clears throat> I'm at full things, so I might as well start enhancing these then. Plus nine sword. Another demonic diffusion aura. Do I really need that capacity. Oh, this is the boss one where there's multiple of these guys. Oh, great. Whoa. Okay. Hold on. my first attempt at the monkey with uh, our reincarnation one uh, the whip build gets quite damaging but you need to hopefully get hopefully be lucky enough to get the uh, thing that helps recharge your uh, uh, your whips so that you can keep getting more and then it really becomes unstoppable but um, he is kind of fragile I think I should have gotten rid of this because i would think i had killed too many people and was doing lots of extra damage from it but i was also taking too much so dual edge can when you're playing by yourself if you're playing with friends dual edge is great because it you can be a glass cannon all you want and you have friends with you that can pick you up 
so that even if you take a lot of damage, it doesn't matter that much. But in a solo situation, dual edge can be rough because you start to take a lot of damage. And I think that was one of the things that was hampering me a lot was I was taking too much damage because of dual edge. But other than that, the monkey is a lot of fun. Um, and I will try again to beat a reincarnation one run tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day. Please uh, like the video if you enjoyed the uh, content and subscribe for more videos. Check out my channel for other uh, videos. I'm going to start doing a few other games here in the next little while. I have a couple of RPGs that I want to play and I'll do some playthroughs on those. So uh, just stick around for more gaming content. All right. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.